Candace Owens standing up for Christians all over the world. Let's get into it. In talking about them being above reproach is the fact that they are supplying the arms to murder Christians. Okay. In Armenia, the oldest Christian country in the world, and yet nobody talks about that. For whatever reason, it seems to be the circumstance that when Jewish people die in Israel, it's wall-to-wall -wall coverage. But when Christians die all over the world, nobody talks about it. Everyone wants to correlate everything to World War II. Everyone wants to talk about Adolf Hitler, and the and rightfully so, he was a horrific person. But nobody wants to talk about Henrik Yagoda, right? Nobody wants to talk about the Bolsheviks. Nobody wants to talk about the Christian Holocaust. I am tired of the media, exhausted of the media, not speaking about what is happening to Christians all around the world. And it is especially horrific, while at the exact same time that it is happening, the slaughter of Christians in Armenia, the arms being supplied by Israel, that the media turns the other way and says, oh, okay, but what about, Israel? What about what's happening in Israel? So you know what I'm asking for? Actual equality. OK, because it seems like this is like a special category, the special relationship that we have. I'm a Christian first. OK, and so my concerns are going to be with what's happening to Christians all around the world, because it is us. We are the number one most persecuted religion in the world. And all Christians watching this need to realize the time is now to start speaking up because we have been silenced about the things that are happening to us for a very long time. And the media is very clearly not our friend. When there is wall-to-wall -wall coverage of Christians being killed in Armenia, Christians being killed in Nigeria, and the treatment of Christians in America and all across the globe today, then you ask me if I will use my platform and I will use my voice to speak about what's happening in Israel. How about that? How about that, Piers? And I'll tell you how about it went. Well, he obviously ended that part of the conversation immediately because there are aggressive double standards here. The idea that you can say to someone, why don't you use your platform to talk about this? And you know, like I scrolled through Piers' feed and it turns out that no, when Armenian Christians are being killed and being bombed, and it is a fact that Israel is supplying the arms to do that, Piers doesn't have anything to say. So why is he prioritizing Israel? He can't answer that question, so he wants to move on. It is constantly this effort to manipulate you into focusing your life and your attention on whatever they decide to press their thumbs down on. And it's not right. And that is my belief. I am a Christian. Of course, I'm going to use my Twitter feed. I'm going to dedicate my Twitter feed to things that are of interest to me. That is my right. I'm also an American. And I recognize when we look around that Americans can't afford gas, they can't afford groceries. And why can't we? Because, well, we have the media convincing us that it is our job to be enslaved economically to the borders and the interests of everybody else but ourselves, but our families. And I don't stand for that. So what does he do? He moves on to, of course, what I also expected, trying to paint and accuse everyone of being a conspiracy theorist. Why instantly Pierce. I wonder why you're not tweeting or why you're not covering Christians being persecuted all over the world. Why are you not doing that? And why you don't have the same approach to helping out Christians who are being persecuted all over the world as what you're doing with Israel and Palestine conflict? Why are you not asking individuals why are they not outraged or speaking out on the millions of Christians being killed all over the world, Pierce? Oh, but you're getting paid to go after people who are not speaking about the Israel and Palestine conflict or people who are on Palestine side or people who just have different views from everyone. Come on now. Let me know what you guys think.